I'm gonna show you three great tricks now and you need nothing more than your hands. Come back, fall, flip, off, like that. <laughs> Two little dicky birds sitting on the wall. One call. Peter. One call. Paul. Fly away, Peter. Fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter. Come back, Paul. <laughs> this has got to be one of my favourite tricks. It's two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. And I think it's my <laughs> one of my favourite tricks is because for years I just did not know how it was done. All you need is two pieces of paper stuck to your index fingers. I'm using post-it notes here, naturally sticky. Um, you can use corners of envelopes or anything you like, and you place them both on your index fingers like this, and it pretty much goes like so. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall, one called Peter, one called Paul. Fly away, Peter, fly away, Paul. Come back, Peter, come back, Paul. Right. <laughs> I still love doing this now. Anyway, the way it works is, and I'm sorry to spoil this for you, but all we do is we swap fingers from the index finger to the middle finger. You can do it behind your own ear or you can do it behind their ear. It's entirely up to you. It's a bit more interactive if you do it to them. So, but it, doing it behind my own ear, the way it goes is two little dicky birds sitting on a wall, one called Peter, one called Paul. Fly away, Peter. So all that's happening there is it's just, you just change fingers. Again, nice, slow, rhythmical movement, and as it gets back there, very slowly, you just change the finger. They won't spot it. What you've got to be careful of is, as you bring the finger down, don't screw it up into a fist, because it might knock the, uh, the piece of paper off or bend it back like that. So as you bring it back down, you just hold it in that position um, so, you, so you don't disturb the paper. Da, 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 and then you bring it back again exactly the same way. I much prefer to do it behind their ear and again nice flowing movements, dink, disappears and then it comes back. Two little dicky birds, hope you have fun with that one because it's my favourite. Put your hands like this, okay, nice and tight, that's great and lift them two fingers up them front two, keep all them a lot that, open them up nice going on with these fingers? Open your hands up again. <laughs> nearly, nearly. There you go. Open them two fingers up. Put them, keep them down. Put them up. <laughs> okay, that's great. And open them, keep your hands nice and tight and open them apart like that for me. Okay, watch. And you do this and do this and do this three times. One, two, three. Keep these nice and tight. Do, 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 do. do this. Do that one, two, three. Great, last time, open your fingers up again. Da, da, da. Keep these nice and tight, squeeze as tight as you can. Okay, and watch. And your fingers just go back together. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> the finger winder trick is a wonderful trick because you don't have to do anything, it just works itself. What you've got to do is get them to put their hands together nice and tight. Tight is important. If it's loose, it will not work. Hands together nice and tight and raise their index fingers up. Now what they do, if, if they open their index fingers apart, after a few seconds, they naturally go back together again. We use this phenomenon to uh, make them believe that we've caused that to happen and for them to make them think that we're magical. The way we do it is we waggle our fingers between and we do all this and they believe something else is going on and we get them to do this three times then we do it again and do this three times and we build up the suspense like this we then say right open your fingers apart and with that we do this winding gesture at the side of the fingers or something else whatever you feel is magical i like the winding one or this type of winding action here and slowly the fingers go together and just watch the expression on their face. They'll be absolutely amazed as it goes back together like that. And what's great about this trick is that they can then go straight away and perform this trick on somebody else, an adult. Adults love this. Adults just do not get how this happens. And they can perform it on them and they think that they have actually done the magic. They believe that they have caused that to happen. Wonderful one to perform, wonderful one to teach. Have some fun with that. Remember the other one you can do with your hands? 
Have you seen that one with the finger? You know where you can just like pull it like that and you can actually pull it off <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, but you can't do it too many times because it, it hurts the finger after a while, but you can just keep pulling it off like that. But you've got to be careful with that one, yeah? Everyone must have tried this trick at some point, but let me show you how to do it right. And it's the old pulling the finger off trick, okay? This is how you do it. You come into the finger and you supposedly pull it off like this and then reattach it. Kids go crazy when you show them this one. They absolutely love it. Right, this is the way you do it. Most people think that you're pulling your thumb off. Now, if you try to pull your thumb off, you can never quite get your hands at the right angle, so it will always look wrong. The trick is to pull your index finger off. So the way you do it is we're gonna bend the index finger back here, and we're gonna use our thumb for the other half of the finger, and it's gonna fit in there like that, and we're gonna pull it apart, and we're gonna conceal the join with the index finger of this hand, okay? Now, the way we get in position is we show this hand here and we can talk about this finger and we use the fingers of this hand to cover up this index finger here. Now, while this is going on, what happens behind here is this finger bends back, this thumb gets in place so that when we lift the fingers up, everything's like so and we can pull it off, right? So, it's a bit of a, getting it right, this, it's a bit of a complicated one, I suppose. Um, so we come in like this the fingers come over, the finger bends back, the thumb goes in place, the fingers reveal that, you then pull it a couple of times, once, twice, then you've got to reattach it, dead easy. You just put your fingers back down and return everything back to their original position. The other way you can reattach it again is you've pulled it off, one, two, is you can just grab it, you just grab your fingertip, and because it's done so quickly, it looks like you've stuck it back on. Dink, dink, oh, there you go. I've put it back on for you. 